Hey everybody, we are with Vicky. I know it's not Tim, because normally I'm with Tim, but today Vicky, and isn't Vicky just as good as Tim? Of course she is. Well, the female version. There right? you go. Yes, the, the female counterpart to my friend Tim Rolls. <laughs> exactly, and Vicky has this great line with American Crafts, and she's gonna walk through and show us all her goodness Yay. that I know you're gonna want. You ready? Let's go. So let's start with the paper products that uh, this release in November, it's all the good things. So it's a whole mix of all the things I love. Came out with a 12 by 12 paper pad and look it, it's double sided with lots of rusty eye patterns. If you like to lay your pattern paper like I do, you know the B sides are as important as the front. So that's super exciting. We have, this one is a biggie for me. It is the White Found Foundations Mixed Media Paper. It is a 140 pound paper. So if you can hear that, it's super thick. So it's great when you put all your wet mediums on, you're not gonna get a ton of buckling. The card makers have been loving this because it's super smooth and crisp white for stamping. Um, and now I can't wait to try my Copics on it as well to see how it's going to re, um, accept those inks. So super fun. Travel a little further down and we have the seven by 10 paper pad. It is different, smaller patterns. A lot of the same ones and then a few new ones. These are great for mini books or you can fold to make five by um, seven, five by seven <laughs> cards. Sorry, tired this morning, but five by seven cards. As well, we have, we're gonna go down here. You can't see this one yet, open stock paper. So 12 um, open stock patterns again all double-sided with beautiful b-sides so that's fun this is the first time i've had open stock paper so that's super exciting um, let's skip over we're gonna kind of dance around a little bit we have two sets of thickers because who doesn't love their thickers it's a staple for any paper crafter we have a great basic alphabet with a script background i love anything with script and i like the size of these because they make great layered titles and then we have foam stickers. And, oh, by the way, and these ones are Vicky. That's fun. <laughs> when they say, what do you want to call them? I'm like, I don't know. It's my first thicker set. Let's just call them Vicky. And then these ones are the good things. And they're foam with the glitter on it all in my handwriting. And all of these stickers are, are thickers are double-sided. So that's lots of fun. Great titles if you like to build your titles. We have a great embellishment pack that has enamel dots and then some little flag embellishments washi tape because I always have to have my washi and it's fun because we did a craft finish and can you see the metallic on it and then in multiple sizes so that's great if you like to layer your washi and it doesn't matter your scrapbooker planner bible journal lots of uses for those I love embellishment packs die cuts so I can't get away with just everything I want in one pack of 50 so we have this set that's just icons let's look at the back of that isn't that fun? So tons that you can layer, and there's a lot of really large ones and then smaller sizes, so a good variety. And then we also have a die cut frame pack. So there's frames, there's journaling spots, there's a few titles, and I'm gonna flip that and show you as well. Look at that, isn't that fun? Because they'll layer with all the other pieces. I can put my thickers on it if I want to ground a title, so that's a lot of fun. And then what else can we show you in the paper line? I think let's just get into the mixed media because as we go, if I see something I missed, I can share. So you know I love my acrylic paints. These are nice and viscous, thick, heavily pigmented paints, so they're great. Um, they go a long way. You don't need much. I love them when I do any kind of jelly plate printing. I love them for um, any altered art or if I want to do some DIY. Lots of fun. This is a new color with this release. Look at how fun they are. And these are called color pops because they look like little pop bottles. And all the um, names of my colors are food names because you know I want you to be hungry while you craft. So this set is a new one, but we have the three packs um, now. And then we have my art crayon. You know this is kind of my workhorse in my paper line or in my uh, mixed media line. I love these. So what makes them different? They are like an oil pastel, so they're soft but not too soft. And you just add water and you can make magic. And then we've added something new to the line that I'm gonna share that makes takes them to a whole other level. So we have the three colors still, um, or three color packs, the neutral, the 
cool and the warm and you get eight crayons in each pack so they're super fun and in a little bit I think I'm gonna do a demo for a second video so I can show you why I love them if we move on color wheels they're not only cute because you know we want cute things in our studio or our scrap area but they're also great pigment ink all these little pie shapes pull out and they stamp crisp and in these wonderful colors and we have a warm set and a cool set in those we have a roller stamp and I love those if you want to see what's on that one look how fun so I don't use these just traditionally as a roller stamp I like to ink up backgrounds with these so layer shine on shine on shine on repeated it's just another layer that you add with your mixed media or your layered backgrounds so they're fun I didn't talk about these that's another embellishment pack aren't these cute so they're little paper clips and I call them like on the edge or something fun like that um, what's really cool with these look how many you get in that pack so there are nine different patterns but four of each so these are super fun if uh, you are a retailer as well or a kit company these are great or if you teach classes they're fun to split so that's fun or if you just do it for your own hobby look at you get lots you could share with a friend if you really like her <laughs> okay let's move on over here we have a new blending sponge I know everyone loves these look at the new size the neck is a little thicker so I find it's a little bit more stable and again in a new color pink so a pink one to go with your turquoise one this little guy everybody's like what would I need this matte acrylic gel for when we go through some of my samples I'm going to show you why I love this it's one of those workhorses you can use it as an adhesive I like to use it if I want to do resist techniques but I love it for my glitter I can house my glitter in it it dries clear and matte so it's just a really fun uh, medium to float product in you can dilute the paints if you want a more translucent paint and I love that it dries matte so I don't have to have that shiny finish I love storage items so I came out with a new storage tin isn't that fun and when you open this tin up you have there's a little handle so you can see the little notch in there and when you put this tin on your table you can keep the lid open and it stores all the mediums really well um, and it's the second one we came out with so you can add that one to your collection a new pouch I love this guy I we got rid of the binding holes because I wanted you to have a little bit more area in the pouch but look how fun that is and it's kind of embodies everything with this release so I love that these are great too for um, store owners if you want to do giveaways or you need a, a gift to give at your crops these are super fun good price point now you know I love my mediums let's get this out of the way for a second so you are probably familiar with the iridescent which you know i call happy crushed unicorn tears but happy tears right they're not sad tears but look at the sparkle in that i absolutely love that we have the silver creative effects glaze in a silver color again there's tons of sparkle in that we have the gold look at that love it it's nice and bright and clean and now look at the brand new one, rose gold. Look at that, I love it. People have been going crazy over the rose gold. So very excited about that. So we have four glazes now. And of course, gesso, it's a nice, about a medium body gesso, and it's great for um, getting started if you wanna um, paint on wood. I'll show you a project when we look at projects. That was a great base for my watercolor crayons, or the art crayons, so the gesso. And let's keep going I know you're like I hope you got a drink before you started watching this video and had a nap <laughs> got lots to share this is something that I'm hiding in my armpit that I'm super excited to share is a stencil brush you're gonna see the magic that this stencil brush does with the art crayons when you get this package you get a little um, acrylic sheet inside you can use as a blending palette you put your art crayon on, you pick it up with a stencil brush, and you can put it right through a stencil, or you can make a light, kind of ethereal look with the um, art crayon, but it's, oh, it's awesome. And when I show you, you're gonna see it just takes the art crayons to a whole new level. You get two brushes in the pack, and again, with a little mixing palette in the back. So I broke that one, so we'll just put it down. Mini mister, like some misters to put your water I usually use them for water with my art crayons this one everybody's super excited about six different watercolor brushes with different tips 
and these retail for US $19.99. This is a great deal. And it's not just, you're like, oh, the price point is great, but do they really work? They do not drip any water unless you press that um, release and you want the water to drip. And that's key with watercolor, is controlling your water. So I absolutely love these. You could use it with water, you could fill it with reinker, and you could make your own watercolor brushes out of them. I love these. So that has been a big hit at the show. We also have traditional paint brushes that are brand new, of course, in rainbow colors. They come on this little card that fits into the junk journal because you know storage is key with me. And as well, if you look closely, you can set the card up. It has a little backing so it'll set up on an angle on your table when you're working with them. Love that. Let's get into the stamps. So I came out with two stamps with this release um, with all the good things. And what's fun about these stamps, they come in this great pouch that you can carry them in. And they also have a magnetic sheet for your dies. They have a couple of coordinating dies in the back. This one's hard to see, but it has a lovely dangle in there. The art's kind of covered with the packaging, but like everything, I've corrected it um, with the next release. So we also have, this has been super popular, this set with the flowers, the birds, and Blossom to Awesome. And then new for this show is the circle set. So we've improved the packaging, made it slightly bigger, and as well took the artwork off the bottom so you can see more of the product in there. Again, a magnetic sheet with coordinating dies. I love circle stamps, so super fun. We're gonna skip back up because I missed a whole row. <laughs> I talk too much, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we have again the Vicky Booten markers which I love these write on all of the mediums this is the brand new color palette with this release and this is the set that we had with my previous release but everyone loves these so we have just continued with a new color palette we have the mixology glitters that we have reduced to three package um, to make the price point a little bit better. It still has the mica flakes, a fine glitter, or pardon me, the glass glitter, faux glass glitter, it won't cut your fingers. And then there's a fine glitter in there in gold and silver. This is brand new for the show and it's super exciting. It's a watercolor set and it's like a slightly opaque watercolor set with tons of pigment in it. I'm gonna grab a sheet that's gonna show you kind of the palette that you get in this box. I love these because they're great layerable um, watercolors, but they have a great price point, $10.99 in U, uh, US dollars. Let me grab this. I just got these, so I haven't even made a project with it, but I wanted to at least have a swatch. But look at the vibrancy of that color, and I love that they have a little body to them so I can layer them to create more depth, so that's super fun. And of course the packaging, because you know, it's like the savoir of scrapbooking. I have to make sure it looks cute. So let's move on to the next thing. Super excited, still going, haven't lost my breath yet. Watercolor stickers. You guys love these with the last release. And I listened and I put, there's still eight sheets in here and let's flip it with great layerable uh, water. Oops, so with the glare. Can we go. get it? There we go. Um, you have flowers, you have butterflies. There's lots of little subtitles, which are great to layer with the thickers. And then this is open to opportunity, right? Whatever color palette you want to match it to. So if you don't like rainbows and butterflies like I do, put some more earthy tones on here, whatever works with your project. And I have a project to show you that I use all the art, cra art crayons and all of these stickers with. So we also have a sticker. I like to layer, layer, layer. So I have a double-sided sticker sheet. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. And it's double-sided. So you have, again, subtitles. Some of these you can layer and uh, make your own sentences. Lots of fun. And again, one of the things I love, like the stamps, are the stencils. So this stencil pack, just so you know, when you get these stencils, there are three to each pack. We put a white card so you can see the art from what, for one of them. But when you flip it, you see that all my stencil packs come with three patterns in it. And uh, they also have the binding holes. Let me flip it again. The binding hole so you can put it in the junk journal because I like storage options. And these are great with the dangles and it's a double dangle. So you would just mask this and you could use a smaller one. And then you also have a repeatable pattern and a script, which I love. So this one, you see me use a script all the time. It's one of my favorites. And so this came out with all the good things. And then for this, uh, the CHA, pardon me, Creativation Release, see, us dinosaurs have a hard time with that Creativation Release. 
I have this new set which I absolutely love. Look at that floral. And again, three sets or three stencils in the set. You have the floral, the flying butterflies, and a layered circle. They will work great with this, the other set of stencils. And if you were lucky enough to get the two stencils released in my first release, they all work wonderfully together. So let's see, what else do we have to show you? Junk journal. So, uh, junk journal. I love this and you're going to be seeing me and my new design team, all the three girls, wonderful ladies that I have working with me, doing a bunch of uh, fun things with this in February. This is new and improved. You'll see the binding is bigger so you can get more in here and we've improved the binding in the middle. So it's good and stable. It has the reinforced little, I'm going to call it a nubbin because I don't know what the proper name is but say we'll just it's Vicky's little nubbin in her art journal but I love this because I can use it as a practice journal I can use it as my art journal I can use it to store all of every item that has binding rings on it I can use it to do a mini book and look at it comes with three different inserts is there three there's four now it has the craft with the interactive bits there's one called mixed media that is a smooth finish there's a watercolor that has a little tooth and now we have this brand new one that has it's great for scrapbooking scrapbooking that's a new word scrapbooking and journaling you have four different patterns with four different uh yeah, four different designs that would equal 12 yeah and then you can see on the back that they're double all of them are double sided so that's a lot of fun. I think I've covered every, no, I haven't. I haven't. I almost forgot the, one of the biggest thing, the most feedback I've got at the show, because if you're like me, you uh, travel to scrapbook and you go to crops and you need something to put your stuff in that stylish. Look at my new bag. It is a collaboration with We Are Memory Keepers. So it's still the 360 design polka dots. Oops, and they closed it on me polka dots with oh my goodness look at that Tiffany blue inside so you have tons of pockets the ladies were saying a full paper trimmer will fit in the side you have when it opens up tons of inserts this pops out and you can store your paper in there you also have this on the front look at that and then I got feedback on uh, one of my videos that I didn't know that you also can do something they were saying to keep this open i think it hooks on the back i don't know i'm gonna have to figure it out but one of you put something on the live video i did yesterday that you can hook this on something to keep the bag open i'll figure it out see i thought oh i'm smart i'll be able to do it not so smart it takes me a few minutes so on top of this one we still have the three pieces we have the little shoulder tote that I love. It has tons of storage and again it is turquoise on the inside. This one has the zipper that I can close and put items in the back or if it's open, look at this magic, I can slide it on the top. I don't know about you but I need both pieces. This is kind of the big workhorse but this I can take if I travel or I'm going to my kids sporting events and I want to bring one of my little mini books with me or my planner or my bible journal so it's fun it has a little bit of something for everyone and then look at the little tote again with turquoise inside so look how fun the coordinating pieces people have been excited people have actually tried to steal this we had people from uh, three ladies from Spain who keep coming back and saying they're gonna take my bag and I'm like well you have to wait I think it's shipping in March so you all can have one and then we can all go on a party wheeling the same bags but we'll have to mark them so we don't steal each other's bags but that's great lots to share I want to share you share with you some art now so you can see how I used it so it looks cute in the packaging but oh my goodness remember I always say so many possibilities in a little box so let's start on the wall did you see two look at I drew this up and my team here made it come to life it's amazing I haven't turned it on I don't know if the batteries are dead we'll see yeah I didn't turn it off actually yesterday so I have to change the batteries but it's lit up and it's super fun use the glaze on the back love that and then a giant piece of one of my papers is the backdrop so it's awesome to have a team that help you make all your dreams come true so look here remember we talked about the stencil brush that's what this background is 
It's Art Crayon, yes, Art Crayon, dry on that uh, blending palette inside with the stencil brush. Look at how clean that is and smooth. I love that I have whole new use for those Art Crayons. And then this I just did with my jelly plate with those new paint colors and uh, cut it out with my silhouette. So super simple layout, just layered some different pattern papers and embellishments. So fun, but this, when I get a chance to demo and show you guys, absolutely love it. Here, this is all done with the neutral pack. So if rainbows and butter, well, there's still butterflies on here, <laughs> isn't your thing, that neutral pack holds a whole bunch of awesome in the color palette that's in there. Layered stencils, these are the art crayons. Look at the pigment in those, used wet with some stamping, and then this is with the stencil, brush and art crayons used dry. Lots of fun. Here, guess what? Watercolor sticker book. So we saw them, they're white and black. I can pick whatever color palette I want to use that. And super easy, you just use the new watercolor brushes, the art crayon, you can paint right from the tip. And all of those, except for the little circle frame, and this little guy are all out of the sticker book. So I love that. And then just my cute family, and some of the thickers. Here, we have this background, I uh, did paint on my stencil, so I kind of painted on my craft mat, put some water on it, kissed the stencil to it, then kissed my background, let it dry. So once the stenciled um, acrylic paint background, the yellow, is dry, I went in and put art crayon. Here's the magic. The paint resists the art crayon, so once the, the um, art crayon was dry I just buffed off the yellow and it revealed it so it's awesome for layering and then went in with the new dangle stencil with the gold glaze and that's super fun so mixed media doesn't have to be hard and it will fit beautifully on that um, foundations paper so it's not buckling on your page with my friend Nicole and then just a bunch of embellishments and then let's take a look look at the cards here one of the easiest things you can do with art crayons is the flower stamp that's in my new stamp set. I took two colors of art crayon. I doodled on it just lightly. You don't have to press hard. Misted it with water and then stamped. So art crayon, stamp, water, and you can make beautiful flowers like that. And this one comes with a die cut. All the backgrounds of all these cards are out of that 7 by 10 pad. One embellishment pack. Uh, some washi tape and one stamp set and I made 20 cards they're posted on my blog and the first thing I'm doing when I get home is a coordinating YouTube video to kind of explain all the techniques and then you have a place to ask any questions about sizes I cut or whatever you want to know but let's keep going I have lots to show you um, I showed you the junk journal look on this side here so see this page that's with that new foundations background do you notice there's no buckling on that paper or very little this was tons of water. You can see how diluted it is. This is with the um, paints and art crayons. And then I went and just, these are new, the stamp set of the new stamp set. Art crayons, painted them, layered them. Super simple. Look at how little is on there. That's why stamps are your, your best friend. And the art crayon box will last forever. Here, gessoed backgrounds. So I took my stencil. I gessoed, put stencil, uh, gesso through it with a palette knife, let it dry. This is all the kissing technique in the background with art crayons. Once it dried, I just buffed it off because the gesso, even though the, it will hold the paint, if I put moisture on it, I can also remove and it will resist the art crayons. And then just loaded a paintbrush up and put some drops on it. Super simple technique. And remember we were talking about the matte medium, what you can do with it. See the glitter in there? It is all mixed. I took the, uh, a squirt of the matte medium, put my glitters in there, mixed it together so it's a glitter paste and then put that through a stencil so if you want to use glitter but don't like the mess that it makes put it in something that will bind it to your page super simple this one is not the foundations paper i gessoed the background that's a great option as well when you want a different look with the art crayon so and there's some glaze in there and then just layer the embellishments one more thing i want to show you well there's lots but i think i've kept you long enough you can also do altered art this is from the dollar store and I just use the inside of the frame. I put a coat of the gesso on. This is art crayon kissed on the background and then a stencil. 
look how vibrant that is even though it's wood and I didn't seal it because as long as I'm not gonna wash it the paint is gonna stay on and then this was just one of the jelly plates that I'd done guess what the glazes will work on your jelly plate I love that I embossed uh, with gold a couple of the new stamps painted them this literally I did at the show it took me about 15 minutes so fun if you want to do a craft with your kids or if scrapbooking isn't your jam there's other things that you can do but I think that's everything and it's lots and there's more coming make sure you find me on YouTube if you need to find me Vicki Booten one important thing because there's a hundred of you waiting on my Facebook page if you go to my private Facebook page I've maxed out friends you need to go to the Vicki Booten dot artist on YouTube on uh, Facebook if you want to follow me because you it's I'm not ignoring you I just there's no space so I'm putting way more of the art stuff there and just the crazy personal stuff on the other page so make sure you find me there and on Instagram because my whole thing is I want to support this with tons of education so or if you just want to hang out and be my friend you know I always need new friends so thanks for joining me this was awesome and if you have any questions let me know and hope you enjoy all the other stuff you're seeing at Creativation thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to scrap time videos here on YouTube so you'll be the first to see all our videos from Creativation and follow us on Instagram at Scrap Time Photos to see photos straight off the show floor.